Hello everyone and welcome back to Dragon Creek. And it looks like we do have some mail and it looks like we check our calendar. Let's see when our battles are. Oh, actually today is one where we should probably fight versus, once again versus Fathead. And it looks like we've got a battle with Stoop coming up later in the week too. So it would be just perfect if this was... Aha! Saddle sale! Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. All right. Let's head into town and we can try out that camo saddle strap first thing, assuming we have enough, which I think we do. I think it was 5,000 if I remember right. All right, though, let's go ahead and see. We'll go ahead and we'll feed uh, Phantom a squid. We'll see what he thinks of it. Um, it gives him food. It doesn't really give him happiness. We'll go ahead and give him a pet for that because he's feeling a little bit sad. And we'll go ahead and get him cleaned up and ready to head into town here. Uh, I'll go ahead and put his training saddle on for now. We can always change it if we do get the new saddle, which hopefully we can. All right, here we are. So we want to go down camo saddle. Painted to blend with trees grants hidden immunity and shield at start a battle. We're gonna try this baby out, and we have a fight today to actually do that. So let's go ahead and get back, get changed in the right saddle, and we'll get uh, get off to the uh, to the to the battle here. All right, here we are, D-rank battle again. We don't gain fame for this, but we will get two thousand dollars if we win. And we'll go ahead and start the battle. And I want to see what this uh, what this saddle does first. Okay, so we get two turns. It looks like stats cannot be changed while active. Hmm. I bet that applies to boosts as well. That's a little bit difficult. Protect blocks damage from the next skill that hits. Does not block skill effects or status damage. So immunity. Um, immunity will get that, though. Uh, it remains until used. That's nice, though. Uh, and hide is good as well. So let's try... Let's see. I'm gonna try, and we will see what happens if we apply burn. Um, or let's try, because I don't think take aim will actually work, but we have a move to burn this turn. And I don't think it'll actually be able to work. Nope, so we can't use that strategy, but if we can maneuver behind him, oh, which he's staying on top of us, uh, we can still probably do an attack, though, with uh, Fire Breath. We could do one that has, I think, Scald. I think Scald would do it. Protect is gonna be nice, though, because that'll buy us some time. Oh, let's see what this one does. You know what? Well, 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 we're fooling around. Let's see what After Image is. Makes the next attack twice as effective. Aftershock does a little bit of damage, which is not that much. After which the next skill used is activated twice, the second activation does not cost stamina, remains until used. That's really good because we can use something super powerful. Oh, I like that. I like that. Alright. Oh, he's moving ahead of us too. Perfect, perfect. Alright, let's go ahead. We'll get behind him. I'm gonna start using those accuracy buffs because this actually helps us a lot. And we'll have the chance to do that I probably pretty frequently while we're uh, while we're still hidden here. So that, that works really well. But let's go ahead. We will do... Uh, what I wanted to do was start to use and take aim again. And I'm just gonna buff us up here. For a little bit and we'll see how uh how good this this strategy actually is because i think it might be a little bit op oh oh okay so maybe it's not as op as i thought because I, we seem to have lost our after image unfortunately uh if we do it before we use something really big though it'll still be good we just uh, can't sit on it forever. We did lose that use of it. So that's good to know. I mean, I'd rather learn that now. And we completely blocked those two hits. So that's super good. Oh, I bet actually though, I bet it, it worked on the accuracy buff. That's that's also good to know. I didn't know that that would be a thing, but that might be something we could set up then. Okay, we've got freeze, which is not great. So what I wanna do is try then. Let's try aftershock. This might drain our stamina quite a lot, though, is the problem. Oof, that did. Alright, let's 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 see how this goes. We might have to use a slightly less powerful move. Alright, that hurt a little bit. But I think if we don't... Let's see. Oh yeah, it's just the next skill. So even if we use the other one... Um, yeah, that makes sense. So it, did, it activated on our accuracy booster. It activated on take aim. What was I- okay, let's try- so we don't have the stamina for cannon fire. I'm gonna see 199 damage! We don't need- oh, we need more stamina, okay. So let's, um, let's just wait for a second, we'll chill here, and see how much our stamina goes up next turn. 
Um, oh, that damaged him too. That's not that's not great for you. Um, cannon fire needs 45%. Or I assume that's maybe not percent. I think that's 45 points. Um, what did that do? All right. Um, that just pushed us down, so we could move right back up. I think. And we should now. We still have after image. We. We still need more stamina. Dang it! All right, I'm not gonna not gonna fool around with that. So it is percents then, I guess. Um, huh. All right, let's use instead of that one. We don't we don't need to fool around with this. We can just use what is it? A fire breath damage would be 80, which this should take him out, I think, because it uses it once, it applies burn, and then it does it again. Oh, that's powerful. Okay, that's really powerful. So that strategy is very worth using. That's really good to know. All right, uh, definitely something that's worth hanging on to. I'm gonna go ahead and do a little bit more accuracy training with Phantom though, and uh, I'll catch you guys in a little bit. All right, it is summer 12. Let's go ahead and check where we're at. So we'd have a C-ranked battle today, but we're gonna just wait for this next D-ranked one against Stoop. And then we're not gonna do the tournament this week. We're gonna continue to focus on strategy, but I had a, a bit of another idea. I'm kind of trying to consider what the good strategy would be for the beginning. Oh, and perfect, the dojo has a sale. So let's go ahead and uh, I actually wanna run over there with Phantom. Let's go ahead and see how he's doing. Oh, he's left his gift as always. Uh, but I actually do wanna run over there because there was one thing that I think I remember that I kinda wanna try. So it looks like Eel is up today. He may not like this, we'll see. Uh, he didn't hate it actually. He it, it gave him food value, but he didn't he didn't really like it like it either. All right, let's go ahead. Uh, he's doing pretty well on his stats, but we're gonna go ahead and saddle him up with his training saddle, and then we will get him washed up before we head into town to take a look at the dojo for one more thing here. All right, this is the one I want to use because it you pull out a shield and you block the next damaging move. It grants protect, which I think should stack with that, and so we can use one of our turns probably to buff that up. Because if we come over here, we have 20 use, but if we if we do okay, curl up um, raises defense. We're gonna forget curl up. We're gonna learn shield instead because that'll totally block a move, and I think that'll be really good if we can get that off while we're still protected by our saddles effect because that'll grant us one more move that we can just straight up not get hit by, and I think that's, uh, I think that's gonna be valuable. So I'm gonna go ahead and we'll do some training, and uh, we'll catch up with you guys in a little bit. Well, it looks like we've got mail again, so let's go ahead and check our calendar, and then we'll check what's in the box and see what we've got. Uh, our battle again is going to be tomorrow versus Stoop. I want to test a couple of strategies with that uh, because the immunity is difficult to play around, but I think we can actually use that to our advantage. I think that could be a good thing. Um, potentially, but let's go ahead and we will, okay, the food's on, on sale. I don't know if that's super valuable to take a look at where I think we're going to focus just on training today. And uh, let's go ahead and we'll get Phantom saddled up and ready to go. Okay, after actually taking a look at our food inventory, I decided I did want to take a look at what's here. Um, there's, okay, so what I want to see if they have is um, the, they got stuff here, I don't know. Oh, this is seasonal, all right. So we can't just buy mushrooms here right now. Never mind that, that's good to know. We really want to bulk up with those because it seems like the foods that Phantom really likes are the ones that I'll grow in springtime. But I'm gonna go ahead and we'll do some training with him and we'll go ahead and get ready for his battle tomorrow. All right, let's go ahead and see what he thinks of sushi actually, because that's the one we haven't tried him or tried with him yet. So once again, not something that boosts happiness, unfortunately, which is kind of unfortunate because I'm having a hard time finding things that do. We can go ahead and pet him, but I think we may have. Oh no, we didn't already do that today. That's good we did then. All right, yeah, we definitely gotta address that problem, but that'll be a problem for another day. Oh, it looks like we have mail, but I'm pretty sure we also have battle. And I think... Alright, yep, yep, we do. I want to go ahead and check that. And uh, we'll, go, we'll go ahead and eat in that battle. We'll go get Phantom ready. And let's see what mail we have. Foods are on sale again, but I don't think there's anything there that we know is cheap and something that actually raises his happiness. So that's something we want to be mindful of. Let's go ahead and we'll get his camo saddle on and we'll go ahead and get him uh, cleaned up and ready to go. 
Alright, here we go. We're going to go versus Stoop and see if our strategy works. So again, we can't change our stats, so the first thing that I think we want to do is try to maneuver behind him. Oh, he's another Hydra, it looks like. Uh, we can't use Take Aim yet, so I want to try Shield. We'll do that to ourselves here. And that does boost it by one, so we'll try and get behind him. We'll end our turn, try and position ourselves. Oh, he's going to go right over us. Unfortunately, dang it, that, that is a little bit unfortunate. But the other thing that I wanted to look at was, uh, which one is it? Oh, I don't think I actually have the move that I thought I did. Um, so let's go ahead, we'll just shield one more time and that should be helpful. Uh, we'll go ahead and end our turn and uh, we'll see what this guy does. Hope he moves out of the way. And now we should have plenty of license to get up here and uh, to be able to go for him. So the first thing I wanna do actually is let's see how so it's or at so aftershock takes 35 percent stamina so we probably only want to use that if we're going to be using um cannon fire because that i think will, will one shot kill most things at this point uh but we do want to use take aim a few times first i'm pretty sure this is 132 damage right off the bat but it is 44 stamina, so uh, doing it twice. Oh yeah, I didn't get the move. That was that was what it was that I didn't uh, actually ended up picking up. Uh, I there's one. It was one of the uh, ones that applies adrenaline, and I didn't actually get it. That was what I was thinking. Well, we'll, we'll try that again some time. Haha, you can't do damage like that though. So let's keep making sure we use take aim. We'll buff up, and uh, hopefully we'll be able to just kind of hang tight here until uh, until we get our stats up. He's going to keep trying to attack, though, it looks like. And I think this is only 9% of our stamina, actually. Oh, I bet, you know what, I, I bet it tells us how much of our stamina the actual cost is, but I don't think the cost scales. I was wondering how stamina worked, because uh, if it's always a percent, then it doesn't matter how high your stamina goes, but I bet it translates the actual value to a percentage. All right, we need to stack twice more. We do only have one protect left, though, so we got to be mindful of that. We are going to start taking damage. But I think getting those protects off is pretty helpful. Um, oh, that still does give us the um, effect, though, so that's also important to know. We still can't get the effects from it. And now we should be buffed up to five. We'll end our turn, and we can start doing burn damage. Which I think... You know, for the heck of it, I just want to see. Cannon fire is 44%. Um, Aftershock is 35. Let's do this. This will already hit pretty hard. Um, but this will give us the the next move we do is going to be absolutely insane. We might even be able to take on one of the higher level battles like this, come to think of it. Because we go now and we do. Um, where is it? <laughs> I am losing things now. Cannon fire. We can afford that. If we do that. Oh yeah, that's... Oh my gosh. That's absolutely insane. That was 200 damage right now. We might... That would have one-shot him. I think the first time would have one-shot him. So yeah, that's definitely something to keep an eye on. That's something we really want to be potentially using. I'm going to go ahead and keep training up his accuracy, but we may actually try and take on one of the tougher fights and just see how it goes, because maybe with these tactics, we'd actually be able to win. All right, it is morning. It looks like we've got another thing in the mail. We check our calendar here. We actually had a C-rank battle today versus Gristle. I'm very tempted to actually try for it. I think we're gonna try for it. I think we're gonna go ahead and try and see if we can do it. I don't know if we'll win, but we're certainly gonna try, and I wanna see if our if our tactics still hold up because I think there's a decent chance that they will. Okay, construction sale. I don't think we need to worry too much about that right off the bat. Uh, but I think we can, uh, we can we can deal with that a little bit later on. Let's go see how Phantom's doing. Let's also check where he's at. So he's at almost 500 accuracy. Uh, we just really need to make sure that we whatever moves we get hit by, we're not we because we can't take we can only take two or three hits from one of the one of these dragons because our defense and dexterity are low. And we probably do need to continue to raise those. Uh, but we'll see. If we if we can start, this might be a good way of, of beginning. But I'm gonna go ahead and get his saddle on, and we'll go ahead and get him cleaned up and uh, and ready for battle. All right, guys, the test is upon us. We're gonna try and take on Gristle and see how this goes. If so, we'll win. if we win, we win fame and a star. But it's gonna be a tough fight. 
we really need to make sure we get behind him, and we really need to make sure that we get ourselves shielded while we have the chance. So I think we regain 10% stamina each time, it, it seems like. Oh, I didn't... Well, okay. Um, back in location. Does that reveal hidden enemies? All right, we're going to try and move back. Oh, that did reveal hide. Okay, um... Oh, shoot, I shouldn't have done that then. Well, great. Um, I'm going to keep using shield and try to buff up my shield a little bit and see. Uh, and I want him to move ahead of me. I'm going to just keep using... Oh, perfect. Nice. All right. That... Oh, he oh he moved himself right there. All right. Uh, we still have some, so I'm going to continue... Or I'm going to start using a take aim here. And we'll see. I'm just going to alternate take aim and protect until we uh, are able to get buffed up and start doing actual attacks. Oh, that's unfortunate. Okay, I think we just need to... Let's see. How much does cannon fire do? I think we just need to take our risk here and uh, use Aftershock. And then... And then... Uh, and then try cannon fire, because I think that's going to be our best shot of actually having this work. Uh, make sure that we do that. Alright, hip check. That's going to hurt. Oh, that wasn't actually as bad as I thought it would be. Let's go ahead... Oh. Did that... I'm confused by what happened. I, I missed what that pop-up actually said. But let's go ahead. We'll use, um... We'll use cannon fire here. Recoil pushes you back. Oh, we need more stamina. Oh, shoot. Um, hmm. Stamina 44%. I guess... We're just gonna wait. We're just gonna wait and end our turn. Because uh, we will lose our after image. Okay, reckless blow. That's gonna hurt. Alright, he hurt himself a little bit too, though. Oh, forest saddle. Oh, that's what it is. It heals him. Oh, he's got a healing saddle. What the heck? That's not something I've seen before. Well, this will hopefully take him down. Yep, that did. Nice. And especially if we can get burn damage on that too, that'll also help. Okay, so we actually can start to win these battles. We just need to be a little bit better about the setup. And that can be tricky to do, but it is definitely possible. I'm going to go ahead and change out Phantom Saddle and do a little bit more training with it, but that's our first star and our first successful battle and some nice income. So I think I'm going to start to actually taking on these battles. I don't expect to win all of them, but I think it'll be worth trying. Oh, right, is Thursday. Once again, we have mail. It seems like something's almost always on sale, and I wonder if that is what that is. But uh, it looks like it would be an E-ranked battle, so we're not going to do that. And then the next day will be at the tournament, so we're just going to be focusing on training for a little bit and continuing to try and boost. I think I want to keep boosting. Oh, hey there, Jay Plays. I wanted to thank you for all your help in the town. Here's some gold. Oh, well, thank you. I didn't. I didn't see how much that actually gave us, but you guys probably did uh, if you're watching. But yeah, that's handy. That's awesome. Thank you for that. Um, to whoever that was. I didn't see who it was from, actually. But we're going to go ahead. We'll get Phantom settled in. I want to try to train his stamina up as well, because I think that'll be beneficial. And so we're going to work on boosting stamina and, uh, and accuracy a little bit more, because I think our best bet is to still rely heavily on being able to use Protect to tank, uh, and then... Um, then hitting as hard as we can right when we come out of there, right as it's starting to wear off. All right, it is Friday. It looks like once again we have mail. It is, in fact, the day of the tournament, but as you guys can see when we go on the screen, we don't have enough stars to compete in it. We're not going to be facing Gundy. We're going to be facing Bristle and Gundy. Oh, we will be facing Gundy this next week, but uh, we are not going to be doing that this episode. We're just going to be finishing off with some more training, and we'll see what this is. Uh, foods are half price, but I don't think there's anything Phantom particularly likes. Oh, and he's left a present for us. So we're just going to go ahead, get ready, and do some more training here. And we'll see how that goes. I'll catch up with you guys after that, and we'll take a look at his stats. All right. We are back. We're going to go ahead, and we will get uh, Phantom settled in for the night. But first things first, let's go ahead. We'll visit with him a bit, and then we'll take a look at his stats and uh, and see how his training has been going. So he's getting, uh, definitely getting higher in his stats. Uh, I spent a lot of time training accuracy, but also I've been boosting his stamina here, as you can see. He's up to 175. Uh, again, the way I'm assuming stamina works, because you see a percentage on the move, but I'm guessing that percentage corresponds to a number, and so it just translates it into what percent that is of how much stamina you have, because otherwise training stamina will be pointless, and so I don't think that's how the game works. <laughs> so I figure if we can get our stamina up higher, because I 
I think that probably also affects how much of it you get. I think you probably get close to 10% each turn, and so if 10% goes farther in terms of how many moves you can make with it, then that's going to be better as a whole. But uh, I think if we continue to train that up, that'll help us too, because then we'll be better able to handle moves like that cannon fire one we've been relying on, and uh, hopefully that will be something that continues to be helpful. Uh, our accuracy is up to 533 as well, so we're going to be hitting pretty hard with the moves that we make now. I'm guessing it probably goes up to 1,000, because 500 seems like it's about halfway across the screen. So we're probably halfway to the max now, maybe even a little bit over that. I'm not going to worry as much about training defense and dexterity because they're so low already, and I think with the way we've been training Phantom, it's going to be better to rely on using that shield move to get the protect status so that whatever damage comes in is negated, and then we're able to just try and buff up as much as we can beforehand and then hit really hard when, uh, before our opponent has the chance to deal too much damage to us. We do have to watch status moves though because if the opponent starts landing stuff like that freeze effect on us, that's going to significantly decrease how much we're actually able to, to do that uh, because that does go through protect. But other than that, I feel like we've got a pretty viable strategy, and I'm, I'm definitely getting the hang of the, how the game works. I think I'm, I think I'm starting to understand it. It's a surprisingly complex game. Uh, I did not know that the battles were going to have this much strategy to them, but it's been really fun trying to figure it out. And if you guys are enjoying what you're seeing here in the series, then by all means, go check the game out. There's a link in the video description to the Steam page, and definitely check it out and maybe get it for yourself if you're interested in it. I would definitely recommend it. Uh, I mean, I'm a huge dragon nerd, but, uh, you know, I've, I've really been enjoying myself and I'm, I'm looking forward to uh, continuing on with this and I've been having a, a ton of fun playing and like we're only halfway through summertime we still haven't even seen fall and winter and we still have like at least two more rank I think three more ranks of tournament to climb through so there's a lot we have left to see uh, and that's pretty amazing honestly uh, again huge uh, Huge, great job to the, to the developer. You have done an amazing job, and I <laughs> very much appreciate all the uh, the fun little references to stuff like How to Train a Dragon as well. Uh, it's it's all around an awesome game, and you have done an amazing job with it. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and end off here, so I'm going to say goodnight to Phantom. We'll let him sleep, and we will head off to our... Uh, our house to do the same and next time maybe we'll actually be able to try out the tournament we'll have to see i'm not sure if we'll win but uh, it might might be worth a shot but we're going to go ahead and wrap this episode here for today so thank you guys so much for watching i hope you've enjoyed the episode don't forget to like and subscribe and i will see you guys next time but until then this is jay over and out